This Pip Arnold keeps calling me Mr. Krasinski. He thinks I'm old man Kellogg. I've gathered from our conversations that I've been paid up for a year for the board. One a month. He wants to know which one I want. He's got the neat one tonight. If you've got Jennifer Japanese. Jennifer Japanese, get it! Mrs. Krasinski, please. Now you see, I think this crazy old man Stop. Kellogg.
but it washed away the insult that you were about to make Sadi. Make Sadi and make it good, and I'm not talking just a little. Mr. Radical of the 60s, I'm talking okay, proper apology. Apology? You want me to apologize to you after what you've done to me? <laughs> well, I'm not going to apologize. I don't apologize. You have your pride, I have my pride. I also have a gun.
want Chris in my life again. Chris was an extreme good cop. Oh, he would. The old rebel. He's still at it. My name is Mrs. Virginia. My name is Roger. Roger's a rock. <laughs> Roger's a rebel no more. Please to meet you, old man. Nice having old man again. Being back in the to... Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Forgive me, friend. Chris. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. <laughs> He's throwing more than his life according to that picture. Hush. <laughs> I may be a lawyer, but I'm also a man. You may still be his wife, but you're also a woman. But John, he told me on the telephone about a job. A full time, real time job. Oh, she called me, she called me, she told me to love my Kiss your tears away if you'll let me. I am a lawyer. Remember me? You got me from legal aid? I'm talking to you, Diana. Can you hear me? At least I'm here close to you. You're wasting your time. Oh, let the time go by. I don't really care if I'm on the street lane. <laughs> he left you. He didn't even tell you where he was going. A woman like you. The way you smile just me. The way you sing is off me. The way you walk my room. No, no, you can't take that away from me. But Diana, he's a bastard. A bum. A puking, no good son of a bitch. I'm talking to you, Diana. Can you hear me? Is there something the matter with my voice? You can't hear me? Oh, what a voice. He had and he was the voice of his time. I am the voice of my time, Diana. Is it my fault the times are what they are? We met in Chicago. The way the city blew us together. We could say it was destiny. I'll say whatever you want. Can you hear me, Diana? You make me feel very insecure. And in that troubled and terrible time, I trembled when I saw him on that glorious day in May. Only yesterday, when the world was young. There he was, in the crowd, and yet alone, with a bow on his head. He stood there like a cross between Shea Guevara and Chuck Nanjong. And when he put the bow horn to his lips to speak, he didn't speak. He played a bow and bow player. He seemed to be playing only for me. Oh, 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 Chuck I didn't know who she meant for Pinocchio at the time. <laughs> Something inside of me stirred when I heard his voice. He did. He heard a lot. He stood in an aroma of Cuban cigars and Miriam. In his loose sitting army surplus guard could not hide the bottom of a tangle. A woman could tell such things. I swooned. He smiled. I swayed. Oh, what a man you are. What a voice you have. An assertive voice without being over there. The voice of a man who loves your children laugh. I love hearing children laugh. I I've never laughed as a child. I always meant to, but something always came up. <laughs> oh, God, what happened to him? Was it something I did that wasn't so doing? Or something I didn't do that didn't mean? Oh, I don't know. All I know is that I let his spark die. The flame of the rebel became a charcoal lover on the barbecue pit of history. <laughs> Look at me, Diana. <laughs> I'm right here. I need you to see. Look at me, please. You were looking at a desperate, homeless, friendless creature, Diana. I just can't seem to make an impression on anyone, even my parents. I was conceived on a Castro convertible at their friend's house. 
they never had sex at home when I was a baby. They'd leave me with a babysitter and go have sex in a motel or in a hotel or at a friend's house. They had friends everywhere and they never introduced me to any of them. <laughs> One day they just didn't come back. They just forgot about me. I was raised by a babysitter, Diana, who charged six seventy-five an hour. <laughs> My old man Kellogg, that was an old man of mine, paid her seven years in advance. But when the money ran out, she left. Well, I got a job to try and keep her, but I got laid off. I was ten. <laughs> out of a job at ten! The older I grew, the more I craved love and friends, the less the world seemed to care. I have nobody's memory. Nobody gets together on a rainy day and wonders, how's Sal Kellogg doing? What's Sal Kellogg up to? Pigeons! Starving to death, not eat my breadcrumbs in the barn!
Cambodia, and, and I don't care. You know? I don't even care if the Beatles ever get back together again. Anything I have ever cared about, anything you have ever cared about, anything anyone has ever cared about, I don't care about, and I don't care that I don't care. No, you <laughs> if you understood, you wouldn't say, I understand like that. Don't you understand? I'm tired of drinking black coffee out of earthen mugs that you made yourself. I want a cup and saucer, and I want sugar in it. I don't care if I never see another menu machine or another cruddy liquid again. Me. <laughs> That's all I care about now. <laughs> Me. 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 Wonderful. Yummy. Delicious meat. I want a condominium without a stitch of macrame in it. I want a... <laughs> I, I want a TV, a VCR, a toaster, shag rugs, designer towels, a big fridge, a huge fridge. I want a walk-in fridge. And when do I want it? I want it now. Oh my God, he's got mad. Chris, don't do this to yourself. That's right, Diane. I'm starting a new life. He's delirious. I'm going to be an underwriter in an insurance company. Ah! Something's better than me, too. My name is Yvonne. Oh, 
My name is Diana. My name is Sal. Oh, my sake. Not quite a way. That line about the frozen tundra was mine. <laughs> Diana! Spit on me. I, I can't spit, Roger. I'll, I'll spit on you later, I promise. 
hit him real hard.
There are no mountains in Chicago, Mrs. Brzezinski. Hope is mountain. Even in Chicago, there is hope. We find mountain and we see. We overcome misery and despair. We overcome trouble and bad life. We overcome disco music, too. <laughs>
and the crowd roared back. I, I don't remember what I said to them, but I do remember that I was there. I spoke my piece. I, I shared my vision. And I was young. I was only seven years old then. Yeah, well, but we're both grown up now. Oh, thank God it wasn't a crap from start to finish. All right, you convinced me. That's it. Boy, oh boy, that is it. I don't know what you have in my head, but if you want to make things better, I want you to sign me up. Oh, God, now I've done it. The only other person who talks like you is my father, Yoga, and I ran away from him. Stayed up late at night to type two. Same kind of stuff probably is yours. Full of hopes and dreams and all that kind of stuff. Can I read what you did? Huh? I know! That's uh, This isn't finished. Now, I'll get you. I'll get you some of my some of my old stuff. It's so nice to see somebody who's doing this with your father. <laughs> hey, you're real. Oh, yeah. Mm, like father, like son. I'm a virgin. 
I just became a virgin myself. Stop! Oh, my hat is off to you, police woman person. To see black and white, it belongs so nifty. You want to credit to your racial quota. <laughs> Only in America. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, well, it's an old speech. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of dated, don't you think? No, it'll never be dated. You're really twisting. Yeah, the question is what?
if the world we envision is better than the one we live in, then we must follow our vision. Because that's the kind of guys we are, right, Chris? <laughs> All right, I'll go. I'm scared of L.A., but I'll go. Oh, Chris, wasn't it wonderful when we were young and loved what we did? Yes, it was. And now we're older. Now we hate ourselves. Why? Because we quit. I quit. Not you. You didn't quit. That's why I love you. Remember in Spartacus, when, when Tony Curtis was dying and he hugged Kirk Douglas? Well, I'm with Tony Curtis here, and you're Kirk. I love you, Spartacus. <laughs> Children. One escape for a short, one is not 
for maybe. What is God for good? Where is my baby boy? Oh, oh this is not a very dream come true. I'm ready to throw in town. This plot is bad man to food. But still it's in the bed. America used to be plenty loud. No more. America used to be land of plenty. Now it's plenty nothing, and nothing is not plenty for me. <laughs> Who's going to want you to go? I come to this country. And now I want to score. I am poor. I am sad. There's pollution, there is inflation, there's no solution. I want you, America. You want to go back to a country and not be twice the one looking back. I quit. I feel much better now. I, I spit bullshit poison out of my system. <laughs> America, your mind never gives up on you. Oh, who the hell you are, guy? Hell of a guy, guy. Oh, it is true. When it is hell of a time, country needs hell of a guy. I am such a man. <laughs> I go to kiss Diana good morning now. Don't kiss like Kenny later. Maybe sooner. I don't know. <laughs>
I didn't think it did. And when did it happen? It never happened. <laughs> I was always on the other side. All those years? <laughs> yeah, we were all on the same side for all those years. <laughs> no, we weren't, man. I was always. Oh, you weren't, really. <laughs> all those years? Is uh, 
is very sick. Oh, he has a bad part, and if you, if you kill me, the shock will kill him, too. Uh, yeah, uh, he, he, he's my only boy. Cute uh, <laughs> as he must, he's gray hair, and a boy. Oh, oh, to see such love between Papa and son in the end of time. He's something worthy of small talk. He's an angel, half of my eye. He's also great for my ass.
I didn't know you knew your heart either, Diana. Uh, we all know each other. Uh. I don't know how we all know so much. <laughs> what is it, Diana? You take the corner, you take the bottom. You take the tail, you take the bottom. The tail, the bottom, the tail, the bottom. Ah, we just call the whole thing off. Ah, what's happening? Did something happen to you that I should know about? Oh, <laughs> 
I beg you, unfold his legs. Don't let us do it again, miss. She's not really a miss. She's a hate. The name's Officer Kellogg. My last name's Kellogg. Your last name's Kellogg? <laughs> Try to divide us, we will press all the closer together. 
<laughs> when the world we envision is better than the one we live in, then we must follow our vision. And when they tell us the frontier is gone, we will reply the frontiers of dreamers is endless and we still have a dream. It is a time of transition. And in those times, false spirits and false prophets spread throughout the land, but new spirits also arise. New dreams are born and a glorious struggle takes place in the soul of the nation. The struggle is on. And let it be said, it started right here, on your vision street. Citizens of the United States of America, it is a new era. And I proclaim in the name of the new decade a new movement, the second movement of the great American symphony. The ring of freedom is for tuning forth.